New Immigrants' Path to Homeownership, Your 2024 Guide for First-Time Home Buyers in Canada. Welcome to Canada Chronicles. Buying your first home in Canada is a major milestone, especially for new immigrants. The process can be complicated, with many factors to consider, from understanding the housing market to securing financing. In today's video, we're simplifying these steps and breaking down everything you need to know to navigate the Canadian real estate market in 2024, including leveraging government programs designed to help first-time homebuyers like you. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update on making your new life in Canada a success. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others on the same journey. Let's get started. 1. The Canadian Housing Market in 2024 Key Points for New Immigrants The Canadian housing market in 2024 has been shaped by a few important factors, including interest rates, government policies, and regional differences. Here's what you need to know. Interest Rates In 2024, interest rates are higher as the Bank of Canada tries to control inflation. This means that borrowing money for a mortgage is more expensive, so it's important to know your budget and what you can afford. Supply and Demand in popular cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal, there are more people looking to buy homes than there are homes available. This has kept prices high. On the other hand, smaller towns and rural areas may have more affordable options, partly due to the rise of remote work. Government Policies The government has introduced new policies to make housing more affordable. These include funding for affordable housing projects and restrictions on foreign buyers, which aim to cool down the market in certain regions. 2. Preparing Financially how to budget for buying a home. Financial preparation is crucial, especially with rising costs in 2024. Here are the key steps to get your finances in order. Assess your income. Start by figuring out your total monthly income. Include all sources of income, like your salary and any side jobs. With living costs going up, it's important to know exactly how much you have coming in. Manage expenses and debt. Reducing your debt is essential before applying for a mortgage. This will improve your credit score and help you get better mortgage terms. Be mindful of your spending and look for areas where you can save. Save for a down payment. In Canada, you need at least 5% of the home's price as a down payment for homes under $500,000. For more expensive homes, you'll need a bigger down payment. Saving more upfront can help reduce your monthly mortgage payments. Consider closing costs. These are the extra expenses you'll need to pay when buying a home, like legal fees, land transfer taxes, and home inspections. Plan to set aside about 3-5% to of the home's price for these costs. 3. Choosing the right mortgage. Picking the right mortgage is a big decision. Here are the main options available in 2024. Fixed rate mortgages. These mortgages have a set interest rate, meaning your monthly payments won't change over time. This is a good option if you want stability, especially with rising interest rates. Variable rate mortgages. The interest rate on these mortgages can go up or down depending on the market. While they may start with lower rates, they can increase if rates rise. Choose this option if you're comfortable with the risk. Green mortgages. Some lenders offer special rates for homes that are energy efficient. If you're planning to buy or upgrade to a greener home, a green mortgage might be a good fit. Get pre approved. Before you start house hunting, it's smart to get pre approved for a mortgage. This will give you a clear idea of how much you can borrow and show sellers that you're serious. 4. Government Programs to Help First-Time Home Buyers The Canadian government offers several programs to make buying your first home more affordable. Here are the key ones available in 2024. First-Time Home Buyer Incentive, FTHBI. This program helps first-time buyers by providing a loan for part of the home's price. The government offers 5% for a resale home and up to 10% for a new build, which can lower your monthly payments. The loan is interest-free, but you'll need to pay it back when you sell the home or after 25 years. Home Buyer's Plan, HBP. The HBP lets you take up to $35,000 from your Registered Retirement Savings Plan, RRSP, without paying taxes on it, to use as a down payment. You'll need to repay this amount within 15 years. First Home Savings Account, FHSA. This new account lets you save up to $40,000 tax-free for your first home. Contributions are tax-deductible, and withdrawals for a home purchase are also tax-free. 5. Finding the right location. Where to buy in 2024. Location is a major factor when buying a home, and in 2024, regional differences in prices and opportunities are more pronounced than ever. Big cities. Toronto and Vancouver. These cities are the most expensive in Canada, with home prices often exceeding $1 million. 
however, they also offer strong job markets and cultural diversity, making them attractive despite the high costs. Montreal. This city is more affordable than Toronto and Vancouver, though prices are rising. Montreal is a top choice for French-speaking immigrants and offers a vibrant cultural scene. Smaller cities and rural areas. Calgary and Edmonton. These Alberta cities are becoming more popular due to lower living costs and growing job markets, especially in energy and tech sectors. Home prices here are lower than in other major cities. Atlantic Canada. Provinces like Nova Scotia and New Brunswick are gaining popularity due to their affordability and quality of life. However, job opportunities may be more limited compared to larger cities. Prairie provinces. Manitoba and Saskatchewan offer affordable housing and job growth in sectors like agriculture and manufacturing, making them good options for those looking for a balance between cost and opportunity. 6. The home buying process. Steps to take in 2024. Once you've got your finances in order and chosen a location, it's time to start the home buying process. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Work with a real estate agent. A knowledgeable real estate agent can make a huge difference, especially if you're new to Canada. They'll help you find properties, negotiate with sellers, and guide you through the process. Use virtual tours. Virtual tours have become standard in 2024, allowing you to view homes without being there in person. This is especially helpful if you're buying from a different city or country. Do your research. Before making an offer, research the neighborhood, look for future developments, and understand local market trends. This will help you make a smart decision. Making an offer. In a competitive market, it's important to make a strong offer. Your agent can help you decide on a fair price. Include conditions in your offer, like financing approval and a home inspection, to protect yourself from potential problems. Home inspection. A home inspection is a must to identify any issues with the property. Skipping this step could lead to costly repairs down the road. 7. Closing the deal. Legal and financial steps. The final stages of buying a home involve legal and financial details that you can't overlook. Hire a real estate lawyer. You'll need a lawyer to handle the legal aspects of your purchase, like checking the title and preparing the paperwork. Make sure your lawyer has experience with real estate transactions. Get title insurance. Title insurance protects you from any legal issues related to the property, like undisclosed liens. It's a one-time cost that offers peace of mind. Finalize your mortgage. Once your offer is accepted and all conditions are met, your lender will finalize the mortgage. Make sure all your documents are in order. Prepare for closing costs. Be ready to pay closing costs, which include legal fees, taxes, and insurance. These can add up to 1.5% to 4% of the home's price. 8. After the purchase, managing your new home. Congratulations! You've bought your first home. But the journey doesn't end here. Now comes the responsibility of managing your property and finances. Home maintenance, regular maintenance is key to keeping your home in good shape. This includes tasks like winterizing your home, checking the roof, and servicing your HVAC system. Energy efficiency. With rising energy costs, consider upgrading your home's energy efficiency. This might include installing better insulation or energy-efficient appliances. Some provinces offer rebates for these improvements. Property taxes. Don't forget about property taxes, which are paid to your local government. These are usually based on the value of your home and are paid annually or semi-annually. Home insurance. Make sure you have adequate home insurance. In addition to basic coverage for fire and theft, consider extra protection for natural disasters if you live in an area prone to events like flooding. 9. Using your home to reach future financial goals. Owning a home can help you achieve other financial goals. Here's how you can leverage your property. Refinancing. If interest rates drop or your financial situation improves, consider refinancing your mortgage for better terms. This could lower your monthly payments or give you access to extra funds through a cash-out refinance. Renting out a portion. If your home has a separate unit, like a basement apartment, renting it out can provide additional income. This can help you pay off your mortgage faster. Just make sure to follow local regulations for renting. Long-term investment. Real estate is often a good long-term investment. Over time, your home's value may increase, offering you significant returns when you sell. While markets fluctuate, owning a home in a stable and growing area can provide a reliable source of wealth over time. If you're planning to stay in your home for several years, the potential for appreciation could be substantial. However, always keep in mind that real estate markets can be unpredictable, so it's important to stay informed and consider your long-term financial goals. 10. Challenges and considerations for immigrant home buyers. As a new immigrant, you might face unique challenges that require extra planning. 
Here are some important things to consider. Establishing credit. One of the biggest hurdles for many immigrants is building a Canadian credit history. Lenders use your credit score to determine your mortgage eligibility, and without a strong credit history, it can be harder to get approved for a mortgage. Start by applying for a secured credit card, paying your bills on time, and keeping your debt levels low. Some banks also offer programs that consider alternative credit histories, such as rent or utility payment records. Income and employment stability. Lenders also look at your employment history and income stability when deciding on your mortgage application. If you're new to Canada or recently started a new job, you might need to provide more documentation to show your income is stable. If you're self-employed, be prepared to show detailed financial records for at least two years. Legal and cultural differences. Navigating the Canadian legal system and understanding the cultural aspects of buying a home can be challenging. It's helpful to work with professionals who understand both your background and the Canadian system. Look for bilingual real estate agents or financial advisors who specialize in helping immigrants. Community support. Building a support network in your community can be extremely valuable during the home buying process. Immigrant support organizations, local community groups, and online forums can offer guidance and connect you with others who have gone through similar experiences. Don't hesitate to ask for help and advice along the way. 11. Achieving homeownership in Canada. Buying your first home in Canada as a new immigrant is a major accomplishment that requires careful planning and patience. While the process can be complex, the benefits of homeownership, stability, financial growth, and a place to call your own, make it worth the effort. As of 2024, the Canadian housing market offers both opportunities and challenges for first-time homebuyers. By staying informed, preparing financially, and working with knowledgeable professionals, you can navigate these challenges and make a smart investment in your future. Remember, preparation is key. Take the time to understand your financial situation, explore different mortgage options, and thoroughly research the market. With the right approach, you'll be well on your way to finding and purchasing your first home in Canada, setting the stage for a prosperous and fulfilling future. And don't forget, your journey doesn't end at the purchase. Managing your new home and leveraging it for future financial goals will help ensure long-term success. Thanks for watching today's episode of Canada Chronicles. I hope this guide has made the path to homeownership in Canada clearer and easier for you. Remember, with the right knowledge and preparation, you can achieve your dream of owning a home in this beautiful country. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always up to date with the latest tips and guides for living your best life in Canada. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.